My last question of the evening. How much of a turnoff is it for people to always ask you about Jay-Z? The, the turnoff is that no one asks him. Hey. And the turnoff is someone will ask me, and then when I answer, they'll be like, he's always talking about him. <laughs> but the fact is, he's a part of every, a big part of what y'all want to know him, that happened in my past. For sure. Rock, so not, not many people worked with Jay-Z in that capacity. Not many people have so much to say as because they don't have so much experience. A lot of people that have been, you know, maybe mistreated by him are scared to speak up on what he did. Facts. I'm just not. So if I hit a nigga with a pack, I hit him with some work, and he runs off on me, <laughs> until I get my money back, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's, it's 20 problem. years later, I'm never gonna have too many complimentary things to say about that situation. Yeah, we was cool, but he ran off with 10 birds. So uh, what do you expect? And, and a lot of people that say those things, yeah. they've never been in a position of being a person that cuts checks, works this hard, and have had people at that level take them to court, say things about them and click up and make other people, you know, say other things. Like, you know, it, if you haven't been in that position, you don't know what it is. The difference is most people that are in my position aren't so transparent. No facts. Aren't so honest. Don't take the time to personally talk to the culture. A lot of people, after they make money with the culture, they out. I made money with the culture, and I want the culture to make money with me. We right back here. And that's why, you know, I'm here. So, bottom line is this. Regardless of what anyone says, hard work, good work, hard work, respecting the art, being resilient. You cannot be a general unless you fought a war. Mm. Nobody can tell me they tough unless I saw them do some tough shit. Mm. So, I like being a general. I've been through a lot of wars. Most generals respect what I do. Actually, all generals. A lot of soldiers are scared of what I do because they think I'm still a soldier, but I'm really a general and they're yeah. soldiers. So I don't expect a soldier to think and have the same mentality as me. A slave don't have the same mentality as a master. You understand? Know a student don't have the same mentality as a teacher till he evolves. It's Bruce Davis on the check-in. We got Dame Dash on the Ugly Money podcast. You know, he talks about Jay-Z. One thing about Jay-Z, he don't do a lot of interviews, so he doesn't really get the opportunity for nobody to really ask him about Dame Dash. And he got so many things going on that's, you know, positive that, you know, don't nobody really want to bring up nothing negative. I mean, in the past, he has gone on platforms like The Breakfast Club. And we all know Charlemagne the God ain't scared to ask the barbershop questions that everybody wants to know. So unless he goes on a platform like that, you know, we don't typically hear from Jay. But the drug dealer analogy is definitely going to lose people. You know, all people gonna get out of that is Jay-Z owes the money. Now, I'm not gonna say or act like I know exactly what he meant by that. But at the end of the day, Dame Dash is a successful black man, multi-millionaire. At the end of the day, he ain't gotta explain himself to nobody. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about in the comments. Y'all feel like Dame does talk about Jay too much. But, you know, it's kind of one of them things where, you know, every single interview is gonna bring it up. So how's he supposed to react to it if he knows that it's gonna come up? And secondly, he did used to shut it down a whole lot. You know, uh, I remember in the past, he used to do the no J questions or if people would try to sneak it in, he'd find ways to derail it and whatnot. But let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.